Hello, welcome back. Sorry, I haven't po well, I didn't post much last week. I'm sick. I've been sick for like four days now and it's just not going away. And I usually never get sick. I'd like to believe that I have a good immune system. Today's video is gonna be all about how I retouch my roots and dye my roots uh, with the color that I use. I get this question asked all the time, especially on my Instagram. It's crazy on, I can post a picture of anything. It could be like a picture of a bear, but I will get like at least three or four comments on people asking what hair dye I use. And it's just funny because like, they should know that I would obviously put it on my YouTube channel. But anyways, so the last video I posted about this was about a year ago when I first initially started my YouTube channel. And the process is the same exact way. I just thought that I'd update the quality for you guys and more explain more on what I'm using, what products I use, and why I use them kind of thing. So um, before we get into the demonstration part of the video, I do want to show you guys all the products I use because I don't think in the demonstration video I um, show much. So... I'm going to show you guys exactly what hair dye and stuff I use, um, so let's get right into it. Alright, so the star of the show, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you haven't, if you've seen all my videos, you already know, is the L'Oreal High Color in Magenta. Um, I have never used any other color besides the Magenta color. They also have Red Hot and they have Red as well. Um, I like Magenta because it has more of a pink undertone. The Red Hot and the Red, if you go into the Sally's Beauty Supply Store, you'll see that they both have kind of like an orange undertone and I don't like that, especially when it fades out. Um, it looks orange and brassy. Like It basically looks like this color here. Um, but my color when it fades out is kind of like a pinkish tone which I don't mind. I like that better than I like the orange. So yeah, I use the L'Oreal High Color in Magenta and for my roots, I just use two tubes. I could probably get away with just using one tube, but I use two tubes just in case. Now with that, you it's recommended to mix a uh, developer, of course. So the developer I use is by Salon Care. Um, Salon Care Professional, it's a 30 volume developer. You can definitely also use 20 or 10. Um, I like 30 because it just gives, like it's in between for me, it gives me the right amount of lift. Um, and uh, it also says that you can use 40. I just feel like 40 would be very damaging. And also a quick disclaimer guys, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not a professional, like I'm not certified hair or anything. I just am showing, sharing this with you guys. This is what I've been doing on my hair for the past three years. I've been a redhead for the past three years. So definitely, if I say something wrong, it like and like people are calling me out, like stylists, it's probably wrong. But I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I like this works for me. It's been working for me for three years. I haven't gone bald. My hair, like I'd like to believe, is fairly healthy. So. Yeah, quick, uh, quick disclaimer that I'm not a professional, so I'm not telling you guys exactly how hair should be done. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. Now, the reason I say that uh, the dye your hair red, bright red without bleach is that because you're not doing that extra pro process of bleaching your hair first and then of having a color on top. The L'Oreal High Color does kind of, it basically has bleach already in it, so it's kind of like a one-step process. Um, so it's just like it lightens it all and then colors it red at the same time. Whereas I think the other step, the other way is like you bleach your hair until it's blonde and then you apply a semi-permanent hair color on top, which I don't, I don't like that way. I've never tried it and I really... I love this hair color, guys. Seriously, I love it. But, yeah, so because my roots are the only things that are dark, um, I usually just dye my roots. You'll see in the de demonstration video. And then to um, to make the ends bright red again, I use this uh, Color Brilliance Ion in red. It's a semi-permanent semi hair color. And you guys have seen this in my updated uh, How I Retouch My Hair color video. I'll link it down below because it goes into depth on how I use that. But, um... Yeah, so those are the two main hair colors I've used. I have never used anything else. I've never used any other color. I've strictly only used the L'Oreal High Color Magenta, um, and that's it. So initially, when I first dyed my hair, it was dark. My hair is as dark as my eyebrows, if not darker. And um, I would say that at first, it wasn't as bright as, as it is now. I believe now, like because it's been in my hair for three years, my hair just catches on to it quick. But uh, it was not as bright as this, so you may need to do it once or twice uh, before it gets to the brightness of your liking. And I would suggest to like leave a few 
weeks or a few days break in between just to give your hair some rest. You don't want to dry it out completely, right? Of course, uh, you need gloves, of course, because this stuff stains like no tomorrow. Um, so you need gloves. I don't have any with me on right now. And I use this brush. Everything I get is from Sally's Beauty Supply. But I use this um, hairbrush. It was like, it's $2 from Sally's. Uh, I like the one that is wider, so it allows me to get more room at once so you know the coloring dyeing process goes faster so I have this here um, then I also have this cute little whisk I don't know if you guys can see that there um, so I have this cute little whisk because I usually used to dye my hair and mix it together with the brush but I find that with the brush for some reason for me at least um, I find that it's still very clumpy at the end <clears throat> my nose is so clogged so I I got this whisk. It was like two dollars as well, and I can wix wix. I can whisk my color. I have this little measuring thing that I got from uh, Sally's as well, and you will need this because you need to measure your developer uh, for each tube of the color. You need 2.4 ounces of developer, so it's like. You just guess. I just put in 2.5 ounces. I mean, who has time to figure out 2.4 ounces? So 2.5 ounces, and you will definitely need this. And to mix my hair dye, I just use an old yogurt container, like an empty yogurt container. My mom leave. My mom keeps them. Like, I mean, your moms save the yogurt containers too, right? Can't just be me. To wash out my hair, honestly, I haven't found a shampoo that I love like crazy. Um, I'm still kind of looking for one. I don't really care if it's like a red, meant for red hair color. Like, I've never really found a shampoo or anything that I like really like. I just try to look for sulfate and parabens, paraben free. Right now, I'm using this one from Costco. I don't have it with me right now, but I'll just insert a picture or the name of it. Um, and it's just paraben free, it's gluten free, and it's, uh, it's sulfate free as well. So, anything that's like light on your head. Um, and it won't like you know fade the color away faster um, and then when I get out of the shower I use this uh, repair solution it's also by ION it's a repair reparative leave-in hair conditioner um, so I use this and uh, I just spray it all over my hair I mean I just like to protect my hair because I do like I don't style it a lot but I, because I do dye it I'd like to it's fairly dry sometimes so I like to use this um, and also guys, if you have any recommendations of like how, like I usually like the only things that like I suffer from is like dry ends. I guess everyone has that. So if you have any really good rec recommendations of like what I should get for my dry ends, please let me know in the uh, description box below. Um, and then guys, also in terms of how I keep my hair so bright red and um just bright all the time this is the number one question besides my hair dye what hair dye I use is like honestly if you follow me on Instagram or if you know me you know that I'm literally at the gym every single day I go to the gym twice a day sometimes um, like I'll go to lift and then I'll also go to do cardio so my hair is always tied up it's always sweaty it's always dirty like the only time like today I washed my hair um, yeah, today I washed my hair and I recorded the video for you guys, like I dyed it, blah, blah, blah. But now I will not I will not style it after this until like maybe a week and a half or the next time it's time for me to record like a hair video or something for you guys. So I don't really, um, yeah, I don't really style my hair. I don't wash it that often either. I probably wash it maybe twice a week max, sometimes once a week because my hair also does not get dirty that fast. Um, and then between, like between washes, I guess... I don't know. I think I'm, I'm one of the few people, I don't really care if I go out looking like a mess. I'll just go to school, I'll just tie my hair in a bun and stuff. But you can definitely use dry shampoo, but the reason I think my hair stays so bright is because I don't heat style it a lot. I probably heat style it every one and a half weeks or something, and that's only for you guys, and I do videos for you guys. Other than that, it's up in a bun, I don't wash it too often, and I don't really like play with it. I don't mess with it. Um... The only times I dye my roots, so I I would say I dye my roots every four to five weeks. But the only like time, the only thing that'll push me to dye my hair is either if I have to record a hair tutorial for you guys and like you guys are gonna see my roots, or um, if I have to go somewhere like someone's birthday party, which is rarely, um, or something like that, I'll dye my hair for that. So I try to find like reasons to dye my hair. I, I don't do it just because like I want to dye my hair. Um, so I find, I think that that's also another way that my hair stays healthy. And last reason, I think it'll be like I honestly just bleached the roots. Like I have never used the magenta on my ends 
like religiously with a high developer. I've, I literally only dye my virgin hair and then I use the Ion Semi Permanent Hair Color on the ends of my hair. So I'm not like constantly bleaching the ends of my hair. Yeah, so um, I'm going to stop talking, it's been like 10 minutes or something, um, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how I apply the hair color, I'm going to go into the demonstration video and then I'll see you back. So I'm going to start off by mixing all of my stuff and I'm doing it the same way I did before. Um, so I'm using my L'Oreal High Color in Magenta and I'm using two tubes because that's usually what I need for um, to like do all of my roots. Sorry, I'm going to lift this up a bit. Oh, okay, I'll do that a bit. Yeah, two tubes is all I need. I'm gonna just mix it in this little container. Do you wanna always wear gloves? Uh, this red dye stains like a beach. So um, definitely wear gloves. Don't ever make the mistake of not wearing gloves because. <laughs> and of course, wear a shirt that you don't care about. As you guys can tell, this is a shirt I always use um, for my hair dyeing. So it's clean, but. Like it stains, so just always wear the same shirt to be honest, and always have a towel that you want specifically for your dying days. Okay, so let's start. So, for two tubes of the magenta, for two tubes of the magenta, I'm adding five fluid ounces of a 30 volume developer, and I'm going to mix these together. Now, you're going to mix it till it's like a you know, a, con a paste and a smooth consistency. All right. So now that it looks like a paste, you know, it's fairly smooth, um, you literally want to start putting it in your hair as soon as possible. So let's grab the brush and let's do this. My hair is um, a day or two old. Uh, you don't want your hair to be freshly washed because your scalp is still very, um, it's clean and you need your natural oils to protect your scalp and all that blah 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 stuff. And how cute am I though? So anyway, so here's my roots. You can kind of see the black. Um, so I'm just going to part it down the center and then section off one side. Now you can do more than two sections. I'm so used to it at this point where I literally just do two sections and then I'm, I'm good. And because we're only doing our roots, you guys literally just lift, put it here, lift it, put it over. I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, you got your brush, you're gonna dip it in your in your dye. And of course, I already have hair in there. And now we're gonna start to put it in our hair. And you wanna be generous with this. You don't wanna like, you know, miss any spots. And literally what I do is I just put it on here and then I, um, I'll flip it over after. So first I just want to make sure to saturate all of the hair here. And don't forget, like if you have a widow's peak that like, comes down, don't forget to get that part because um, you don't, like if you're doing your roots, you might as well do them properly. Oh, and also you could definitely put Vaseline all around here to prevent it from staining, but I always forget that part. But it'll save you time in the shower and scrubbing of your forehead. So I'm just going to make sure that I get all of this. I just take a little piece like this. I take it all the way to the back. I flip the hair over and then I put dye here and I put dye there. And uh, this is the dye that I used when I first initially dyed my hair. As you guys can see, my hair is like basically almost black. Um, and this is the dye that I used when I initially first dyed my hair red like three years ago. And you want to make sure to get your sideburns. It sucks like when you tie your hair up and then like you have, you'll notice like a little bit of black root and you don't want to. So you just want to make sure like for the back. I literally just start off from the bottom. So from the bottom, I'm just gonna take it like this and I'm just gonna apply it onto my hair going upwards first, making sure to get all this hair here. And then I'm gonna take a section like this, put it down, 
and then I'm just gonna put it up like this. Now I'm being like, I'm literally just showing you guys, I'm obviously gonna do it better, but that's all I'm gonna do, and then I'll be back once I'm done the second side. Okay, so I got it on the majority of my roots, like I can, you can usually take your fingers and like go through and you, you'll feel where the dry spots of your hair are. And I have a bunch of dye left over. I make sure like I saturate the front part of my hair because of course that's what everyone sees first. I literally just dropped a glob of hair dye on the floor. My mom's going to kick my butt. Let me clean that up. So just massage it all in your head, right here, the back of your ear, um, because when you tie your hair up, people will be able to see this part right here. For the ends of my hair, I'm using the Color Brilliance um, semi-permanent color in red and I'm just gonna put this I have a little bit of hair dye remaining and I don't really care like it doesn't matter I'm just gonna pour this into the tube mix it all together and then I'll, I'm gonna apply it to my ends so alright so there it is right there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take chunks of our hair take uh, the hair dye put it on my hands like this and just apply it through my hair And I love the, the Color Brilliance Ion, like the um, this brand that I'm using. I've tried Pravana, and Pravana, for some reason, like it does not make my hair as bright as this color does. Um, and I'm just massaging it through. And also, this one, when you put, when you're like squeezing the dye out of the tube, you'll notice that it's like metallic. Um, and it has like, kind of like, I guess you could say sparkles, but it is metallic red. And when you wash your hair and like the dye comes out, this dye like it makes your hair so shiny. Like so, I've tied my hair up, um, as you can see. Um, for my end, just watch my other video that I made on how I refresh my hair color because I went into more depth about that. This one I just literally wanted to show you guys how I do my roots because I didn't have I had like the last one I did was like a year ago and it was very shitty quality so. Yeah, that's how I do my roots. As you guys can see, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see the roots already turning red. And what I do is I leave it on for about 45 minutes. And before I wash it off, I go either in daylight or I, per I put the flashlight on my phone on, go in front of a mirror, and then like I flash the light onto my roots and see if the roots have caught any color. Um, and once that's done, I wash my hair. I usually try, um, if I don't have anywhere to go, the next day I usually don't shampoo like I'll use very very little shampoo just to get the residue out but I won't use shampoo and I'll condition it and then the next time I shower I'll use shampoo just to like try to keep the, the dye in your hair longer I don't know if that's good for you or not but um, I usually will shampoo but I'll look put in like a very small amount just to get kind of the smell and the residue out um, and then I'll just conditioner it conditioner it condition it and uh, then I'll style it like normal. So let me go wash this off and then I'll show you guys the end result. Alright guys, so you saw that um, I posted a video of, it was actually a Snapchat, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat you should, it's just bodmon.z, but um, yeah, so your hair in the, like, in the sunlight, it should look like your roots should look really bright, um, and yeah, that's it, I blow dried my hair and this is the final result, and I also wanted to ask you guys if, if do you like this hairstyle, because I literally, I blow dried my hair and then I used a straightener for the ends. Can you guys see that? Like, I hope you can see that. Um, so if you guys would like a hair tutorial on this, I can definitely have it up within, like, a day or two. Because it's very, very, very simple to do. And, yeah, it'll be really cute for the holidays. So, um, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. I'll be going through my comments, uh, especially on this video, just so I can answer questions on people who want to dye your hair, dye their hair red. Um, and also, honestly, if you're scared, just go to a professional for the first, like, for the first time at least, and then after that, the upkeep, you could probably do yourself. Just, it's very easy. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative enough, and I will see you in my next, I don't know if it's going to be a tutorial, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.